Hello, my name is Caleb Denby, and welcome back to Game Review. Uh, today, I wanted to go over a game from the Online Nations Cup that finished a little while back. Uh, this was a miniature. You don't see too many of those in modern day chess. And it was a miniature from uh, the former world champion, Viswanathan Anand. I, well, I guess, you know, uh, once a world champion, always a world champion, right? Uh, he was playing against the Russian Jan Nepomnyshi, one of the leaders in the candidates tournament uh, to be the next world champion. So could be, you know, world champion versus a uh, future world champion here. Y you never know. So in this game, uh, Vichy actually began with d4. Jan played knight f6, and after c4, g6, knight c3, d5, we are in the Grunfeld defense. Now, there's a ton of different ways white can play against the Grunfeld. In this game, Vichy so chose the move c takes d5, knight takes d5. This is more or less the main line. Uh, and then from here, rather than go into the main main stuff with e4, Vichy chooses this move bishop d2 instead. And bishop d2 is an interesting line. In the main line of the Grunfeld, e4 gets played, knight takes c3, b takes c3, and then this bishop becomes very, very strong on this long diagonal, and black looks to break down this d-pawn uh, and this c-pawn, this kind of structure, to get activity with his bishop. So what white does with bishop d2 is kind of plays against that idea by bringing his own bishop to this diagonal instead. So bishop g7, and now white replies with e4, and after knight takes c3, we actually see bishop takes c3 instead. So now rather than allow black all this counterplay on this diagonal, we see after c5, white's just going to play d5, as he does in the game, and these bishops kind of nullify each other. Uh, black actually did capture on c3 in the game. We see b takes c3, queen d6, and now the move queen d2 from Vichy and Nod. Queen d2 is a nice move, highlighting the fact that now that this dark squared bishop is gone, black does have some dark squared weaknesses to contend with on this king side. And if he's not careful, he might get checkmated in 17 moves, uh, if he's not careful. Um, in the game, Jan actually castled, uh, and now Vichy kind of uh, launches his attack. So uh, I'll let you guys at home try and find uh, the first move in this devastating attack for Vichy and Nand. Um, it's, it's very, very combative, but it does highlight the fact that, you know, black has weakened a lot of the central squares uh, around you know, this, this queen right here, and he hasn't really developed any of these pieces to help support those squares. Notice the lack of this bishop is felt not only on the king's side, but in the center as well. So try and find some way to take advantage of these ideas to just immediately begin to uh, launch your pawn center forward. Uh, okay, of course the move that Vichy played is the move f4. Immediately challenging this e5 square, creating threats of playing e5 himself, and creating other threats as well that we'll see later on in the game. Uh, the way that Jan chose to play is with this move e6. He is trying to break down white center at the d5 point. Uh, and Vichy actually has a very, very creative response to this. He simply develops this knight, and after e takes d5, he's not interested in recapturing this pawn. Rather, he comes up with the very, very nice move, bishop to c4. And bishop c4 is a, a pretty killer move. It's saying, I don't want to recapture this with the pawn, opening up this file in front of my king. I'd much rather take it with my bishop, uh, putting some pressure on your king's side as well. Uh, and here I did a little bit of analysis because Jan's next move is actually the move that gives him uh, more or less a losing position. Uh, and I think the best move here for black is to actually just play d4, uh, kind of admitting that white is going to get a little bit of activity along this diagonal, but getting a strong, powerful d4 pawn in return for it. The game might continue c takes d4, c takes d4, white can castle, and black can play a move like knight c6 mm -hmm. here. And from here, there's just a wide variety of ways that white can play. You can bring a rook over to the center. You could even immediately try pushing a move like f5 to open up files. Uh, most natural to my eyes was just to play a simple move like bishop back to d3 in this case. Preparing this move f5 at your leisure and uh, just beginning your kingside attack. Uh, in the game, though, we'll see that... Uh, Anand actually just gets a much, much better version of some of those moves that we were looking at there. And that is because Jan plays this move, bishop e6. 
Uh, and this move is really the move that, that gives Vichy the advantage. And the reason why is you're putting this bishop on a square where after f5, it's actually going to be attacked. And so all of these attacking lines that white has uh, normally after a move like d4 are just coming a single tempo faster. And in this case, a single tempo was the difference between an okay position for black and just a, a losing position for black. Uh, rather than begin with this move f5, Vichy first castles, and now Jan does play the move d4. And now white to move and win the game. White to move and more or less just outright win. Go ahead, try to find it. Okay, I'm going to reveal it now. Of course, the move is this move f5, sacrificing this bishop on c4 in exchange for the extra tempo that you get here on f5. Bishop takes c4 was played in the game. Now e5 hits this queen on d6, the queen moves out of the way, and then after the move f6, checkmate is quite simply unstoppable. Now, uh, a little bit of controversy about this game. Uh, I believe Jan claimed he mouse slipped the move queen d7 instead intending to play the move queen to d8, when after f6 he had some brief ideas of how to kind of uh, save his position with a move like knight d7, but unfortunately for him, this is also just immediately getting checkmated after queen h6, knight takes f6, and the nice move, knight g5. So, mouse slip or no, uh, he was getting miniatured nonetheless with this clever maneuver by uh, white here. So a very impressive show of opening preparation by Vichy Anand, not such an impressive showing by Jan Nepo, who has actually been struggling in this new era of online tournaments. I think he said in interviews before that he just finds it difficult to focus, to take these as seriously as he would with over-the-board chess. Uh, hopefully, though, you know, he gets back on the horse, plays some more events, and uh, finds his footing. Uh, in the meanwhile, though, very impressive game from Vichy Anand. I really love what Vichy is doing with his career these days. You do get the sense that he's playing chess because he really enjoys the game, and it's showing. You know, he's playing some very, very beautiful chess uh, in this uh, stage of his career. Uh, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Game Review. My name is Caleb Denby, and I will see you next time.